Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Switzer Lake achievement run in Europa Universalis 4. I'm terrified, I don't know about you, but uh, we are at war with France. And more important than reinforced speed, I think it's going to be, yeah, morale of armies guy. We're going to totally switch up our advisor. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know that we really need anything else right now. I think we kind of need the 100,000 or 10,000 income that we have right now. That's not the real number. But I think we need all of that to potentially defend here. All right, let's let's get our bearings straight here. So, Baron, let's see. Supply limit 31. 31, 27, 29. So our best supply is in our capital. But what we need to also do is identify the river crossings. And also, I need to consider whether or not... Um, I wonder, if I have two armies in a province, and one of the guys has six maneuver, will he force them to take the river crossing? I think maybe. I think Wallace is probably going to be like one of the better spots for us to defend. And we can hide the rest of the army in Waldestadt. So we can put like 27,000 troops here. Let's let's start that process. So this is uh, this is 16,000. I was also checking out like the relative strength of the alliance, right? And it's not it's not looking good. They've got way more troops than we do. Um, of course, France has just boatloads of cavalry as well. However, looking at the artillery, it's actually quite close. And when you look at it, I've got 15,000 of the 20. So we've got a really good amount of centralized like artillery firepower over here in the mountains. We're in tech 10. We're in tech 11 see what kind of an advantage that gave us. Slightly better combat width. It also means we have access to a barracks, which we haven't used yet. No morale advantage. I think, actually, yes, this is very significant. We got infantry, sh infantry fire value, 0.2. And I think it was also cavalry fire, 0.5. So we might want to make a few more cavalry, simply because our, our cavalry will actually do damage in the fire phase, where theirs will do none. Their cavalry in the fire phase are worthless, where ours do half of the amount of normal damage that they would, would normally inflict if it wasn't for the modifier. So, we only have four units of cavalry. We are under the supply limit. May, maybe? Maybe we'll buy... Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's go for two more. Let's build some more cavalry. They're going to take a little bit of time. We'll build them down here-ish. And yes, we're going to park 27,000 troops over there. So that's 16. Let's grab another 7 is 23. Another 4. Let's uh, let's make that the high maneuver leader. Actually, we'll, we'll make this, this one that's moving over the high maneuver guy. So that that army's there, and then we'll put the actual combat guy, who's our, our leader leader, here. We'll have to wait a second. And we're obviously going to do this war not at speed 5, that would be nuts. So the problem is that we're a junior participant, right? Like, we are not even, like, we're, we're not even part, like, of the negotiation process. But we have to carry almost all of the weight. But this, this war could determine how, like, fundamentally, like, how the rest of history is shaped. What the hell happened to my power projection? A second ago it was at, like, 60. It just dropped. Did we lose a rival? We might have. Alright, well. Let's try to get into position. So, um, yeah, Oldenburg, good luck. I mean, it's great for France to not have a leader there, but I have a feeling that the entire French force is going to come bearing down on them. But if they can secure a couple quick early wins, that would be nice. Okay, you're going to have it over to Waldestadt? I hope that's how you pronounce it. Wald... Waldstadt. Waldstadt. Right, so that's pretty good. We've got 18 in the front row. The combat width is definitely not going to be that big. This tooltip really needs to be better. There's a tooltip for when you're actually in combat. Like when you click on it right here. Combat width 27. Which is nice, but you should be able to like know what the combat width is going to be before combat, shouldn't you? I think I've already, I've already addressed that multiple times, I'm sure. So our combat width is 12. It's 27, 13. So we really have too much infantry. We would be even better off with more artillery. But, you know, we gotta have gotta have replacement armies. Nice little easy win here would be great. Good job. Um, why don't you, like, beat up Holland? I'm terrified to actually leave the mountains. I mean, we could move into Savoy. We are at war with Savoy, are we not? We're not. How did you not, like... How did, how did Venice not call in Savoy? We're allied with Savoy. 
Did, did Savoy, like, totally not honor a defensive call? That'd be weird. Maybe. Alright, well, goodbye mains. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mains, be supportive. And here's an army for you to attach to. And can you please escape in time? I should have done that a, a minute ago, shoot. Well, certainly don't want to go engage this. French have a 2-4. I think, I don't, I don't know. Should I, should I roll again? We're ahead of time on military tech. We've got enough military points we could roll a number of times. And with 53 army tradition, I feel like we could get better than like a... I mean, the 0-6 is great. Most of the damage is still coming from shock, but at the same time, I'd like, I'd like like a... We get to focus on where we're going to do the most damage, which is probably fire phase with all the artillery in the mountains. I don't know. I, I'm going to roll at least one more. And I guess we... I mean, I'm happy about the siege. If, if we get to the point where we can actually go siege France, that'd be okay. France is a 5-3. Well, um, if I were to bring down my whole army, there's no river between these two. If I were to take 40 on 21 in the plains, that could probably be a, a victory. I'm going to risk it. I'm going I'm to leave my mountains because there's 20,000 French up there. And the French all together have how much? This is terrifying. The friend, I mean, they've got 100,000, so they got 20, 20. Where's the other 60? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Um, do we want to gain cardinal in administration? More papal influence? Or do we want to gain some prestige? Well, prestige does affect morale of armies. So, perhaps we actually want to just take the, the prestige right now. I mean, I'm not too worried about doing conversions. And tolerance of heretics is going to be problematic. Because there's going to be more stuff converted by the center of reformations. And the Papal Influence is nice, but we're not really playing the Catholic games. We're just going to take the thing. I mean, the Pope... The Popacy, as, as uh, you know, our term of endearment. We've got uh, not much we can do there. I mean, I, it's so annoying, I can't even call my allies. Alright, well, we got to take the good fights where we can get them. We will arrive on the 13th and the 19th. We will be gone by the 20th. Let's back them off and time them together. <coughs> Close enough. One, well, yeah. We'll, we'll make it exactly the 19th. Now, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that... Okay, yeah, it's going to turn into 40 on 40 pretty quick here. But, they're 2-4 versus my 0-6. And they have a tactics advantage. Look at that. Discipline already. How do you have so much damn discipline? You've got 20% from... 20% morale. They've got offensive maxed out already. Damn. Alright, so they got a tactics advantage, we've got a slight morale advantage, which is pretty pretty impressive if you ask me. Would have loved to have my own discipline guy. But And we've got way more artillery here, but they're reinforcing with four more artillery. And our army's bigger at the moment, but as soon as they reinforce, we might want to back off. It'll turn into a loss as far as like war score goes. But <clears throat> like, if you analyze it from just, like, how has this one battle gone so far? Well, this one battle's gone really well. We definitely killed way more than they did. We're, we're beating down the French manpower. Ish. Ish. Which is their money, which... That's the other thing I should pay attention to, is, like, what's the treasury of France? Obviously, France has one of the highest incomes. Their treasury's pretty low. 100 prestige. Oh, God, man. Like, just trying to... Just trying to beat France is gonna be nuts. Let's see. We'll let it keep going. Of course, then we roll a 3 to their 7. Do we want to let this keep going? Their front line is at, like, 700 strength. Our front line is at about the same. Oh, man, we have so much more artillery. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to retreat. So we're going to take the army that has more troops, or had more, it was the maneuver character who I had parked in Wallace to try to protect for the rivers. We're going to take him and have him retreat this way. Um, why is it not letting me do that? I would have to control the whole thing at once. Is that, is that what you want me to do? Oh, it's actually not even been long enough. we got to wait one day. Okay. I was going to say, that's kind of crazy. 
Alright, so we retreat part of it, and we retreat the rest of it. We lost one war score. What? Damn it! Well, okay, well, okay, never mind. Okay, at first I thought that we just, like, lost more men. We killed some cavalry. Cavalry more expensive. So, all in all, it's about the same. I mean, we lost about the same number of troops. And, uh... Picked up more war exhaustion than they did. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like that was a really advantageous fight, actually. I think we need more cavalry. We're clearly going to need to hire some mercenaries. To, to, like, keep up with France, possibly. Uh, let's see. Kandata. Which one's the actual one that we want? We're currently using Kandata. Alright. Let's hire some more. Let's hire some Kandata mercenaries. 25 units currently. We can hire nine more. Well, we might have to go bankrupt. We'll see. Um... I think I'm going to have to start consolidating regiments anytime there's extra combat. If we can just catch, like, an army without a leader, then that would be pretty awesome. Become Emperor, protect against France. Yeah, good luck. I don't think that's going to happen. Who would become Emperor right now? Two people voting for us. Three for Austria. You know, if Magdeburg, if, if you would maybe just like me a little bit, that'd be nice. Or maybe Saxony. Hey, you know what? Saxony would totally do it. Why don't we just go over the relationship limit again? Because that would be all we really need. I mean, well, no, no, no. We'd have to take somebody that's currently voting for Austria. Magdeburg. Alright, let's do it. Magdeburg, do you want to be my ally? I think you should. I know I'm playing exceptionally slowly. But it seems like the right thing to do. How old is the Emperor? He's only 23, but you never know. Oh man, I have a negative opinion of them. Great. Okay. May I have military access, please? Thank you. Hmm. Yes, come into my capital. Well, I mean, no, don't. Don't act. Well... You sure, why not? You'll suffer attrition, you're not gonna loot it, you're not gonna get anything valuable out of coming there, so sure. Come on in. And also... <clears throat> excuse me, I, I am gonna have to consolidate regiments. I just, I can't afford to do the, the reinforcement. There's no way you're going to take this thing. I mean, the siege timer is like, yeah, 90 days per siege. So, per siege tick. So, you're going to be sitting there for a long time. Suffering 2% attrition. We're just going to wait here. And if we do nothing except for make France pay, then that's good enough for me. I should have... Well, no, Scorched Earth wouldn't have helped much. The terrain type isn't good enough to actually, like, make it matter. The only, the only time it makes sense to Scorched Earth is like with these Arid Provinces. Where do you see that? Um, they have to have the Arid Modifier. There we go. Attrition plus 1, and then Max Attrition plus 10. That, that Max Attrition plus 10 is what you need. And we don't have that, so... Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, you're not... I mean, you're hostile to me, but you're in Venice. Okay, well, let's go ally up Magdeburg, if they're willing. In a couple days here. Way over the relationship limit, but now, in about a month, they should decide. All of a sudden, we're the bestest in the whole wide world, and they want to vote for us. Vote for me. And when they do, yeah, there's, there's. Just, I mean, man, the only thing I can really do is try to make this punishing for France. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab a uh, mercenary infantry. Actually, we'll take two, and we're gonna do some looting. And, uh, well, obviously don't march through them. That would be suicidal. But yeah, we're gonna go loot some, and, uh, oh, hey, look, a French stack. You can arrive in mountains are here on the 14th. And it's seven in the front, three in the back. I mean, it's, uh, leaderless. 23rd, 21st. We gotta scare you into not moving. Are you going to continue to move into me? Really? Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know how I feel about this, France. That's a pretty questionable uh, maneuver. We will be there uh, the first. You're going to be there before that. Shoot. Well, that's rather unfortunate. 28th, 20... Okay, we can at least back off again, but... I was hoping I could sneak a couple armies behind, um, behind him. 
Hey, you see, we actually got our war score back from that initial fight. We stack wiped it. Good. Okay, well, we'll take plenty more fights like that. Hopefully the rest of these forts will finish. Fifth, sixth. Alright, what if I threaten to reinforce? Will you stop? Yes, you will. Alright, so we just back off for now. Yes, pile more troops on there. Your unit weight is uh, 16. Oh, and there's winter now. 3% attrition. How's that French manpower? I like I like playing this way. Like, this this is the most fun for me in, in EU4. Like, the World Conquest type stuff is cool, right? It's fun. But I like when you have to play slow, because every decision, like, really matters. This is, like, what really gets me going. So, anyway, I just, just thought I'd mention that. So below our force limit, we have a tiny, tiny bit of manpower. I'm thinking more mercenaries is, is probably the way to go. A damn phone, I checked it before this video. And I told it to not make noise, and now it's just like, you know what, screw you, I'm gonna make noise anyway. I hate this phone. I'm so sick of this phone already. But they, I mean, it's like it, like it automatically sets the volume. Oh, God. It's a crap. So frustrated with this phone. Savoy, why have you not joined the war? I, I mean, I really don't understand that either. Okay, but yes, please do move into my capital. Suffer 3% attrition. I love that they're suffering attrition just to move into my land because of winter. It's cool. Somehow we're down to speed 2. I think we can handle speed 3. Okay, never mind. Let's get the hell out of there. 26th. 30th, that's bad. Um, if I threaten to reinforce, you're still gonna come in here. Okay, um... Looks like these mercenaries are gonna have to just disappear. They're gonna get insta-wiped, there's no point in letting them... exist. That's rather unfortunate. Still... What's the siege length here? It's only 30 days. Okay. We've got our march. I wish we had finished that star fort. I don't know. I, I don't see him making much progress on these sieges. Of course, they breach the walls, nat naturally. But, you know, if we just hold out, you know, and do the French thing, or sorry, the, the, the thing, whatever it's called, I'd love to fight them up here. They've got all these leaderless armies, but if I just abandon my territory... Hold on, that might actually work. Let's think about that for a second. If I could actually secure military access all the way up there, I'd have to get military access through you. I think you'd give it to me. No? Yeah, I mean, pissed off. A little... Throwing a hissy fit. What about you? Frankfurt? No? About... Uh, we go through Bohemia. Oh, Lundberg. There we go. So we could get access up there. We could just take 40k and, like, one by one kill these French troops up here. And let them just sit here trying to take this stuff. Worst case scenario is that they do take it, right? They take our capital. But... It's going to take so long to siege. Like, rough estimate. They've been going for 141 days and they still have negative 21 with only one progress. I mean, we're looking at probably, like, two years before they could actually take it. And if I really pressure them up here, they would probably back off. It might take some of the surrounding territory, though. And of course, the actual war leader is Holland. So Holland's the one we gotta, like, ruin. And they only have two provinces. So if we siege those down... Alright, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna... I think I'm gonna do it. A minor issues marching around. Well, let's just see. If we tried to march up there, can we get there right now? Well, obviously through France, but that's not going to happen. No, we're going to we're gonna go this way. Alright, see you guys. This might be the worst idea I've ever had. Alright. Got a couple provinces with low supply. They are a bit problematic. This one we'll just have to march through. Alright, so you're heading that way. Let's wait till you're in Tyrol and then we'll queue up the same thing. Milan's declared war on Tuscany. Great. Ugh, I don't like how they're seeing progress there. 
planet will seed something. I'm not sure that that really affects us too much. You, I can practically just march around. But you've got such high maneuver. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we gotta go for those armies. And what I really want to pay close attention to is the French... Oh, look at that French manpower. 1,500. Yep. 4% normal winter. Enjoy those mountains, boys. I mean, we're going to lose control of probably a province, but... I think that this is doing its job. And the thing is, like, if we actually inspected these armies... Yeah, 9, nine infantry, 8,400 infantry are actually there, so... They're already at less than normal uh, fighting efficiency. Like, I could... That's, you know, crap. Uh, now I've, now I've second-guessed myself. Maybe what I should do instead, wait until these ones actually threaten to be close, park the whole army here and here, and then pounce on the woods. They'll, they'll break their sieges to come defend this army. Because these armies are going to be weak. And this one would start off with no leader. Okay, no, nope. yep, that's, that's better. I like that better. All right. Well, let me know what your thoughts are, because there's obviously multiple ways we could go here. I do think that fighting the French up here without leaders at all would be quite nice, and putting pressure on the actual war leader is important, but I don't want to lose control of any of my territory, and I, I don't know. If he did, if, uh, if he collapsed 30, if he collapsed 50,000 troops on my 40,000, that would be bad. Whatever. We're going we're gonna to do this. All right, I'm going to take a break here. Let me know what your thoughts are. See you again in the next video. See you soon.